Welcome to the Thrasher's Wheat Radio Hour, where the feedback is back. I come down from the misty mountain. Every week we scour the human highway to bring you the best Neil Young news and reviews, rumors and musings, plus rare unreleased tracks and live shows that will keep you rocking in the free world. It's all one song. The Thrasher's Wheat Radio Hour is presented by WBKM.org in the heart of Burlington, Vermont. Now, from WBKM, here are your hosts. Aloha from the sunny shores of Lake Champlain in Burlington, Vermont. I don't remember that palm tree being here last time, but welcome to the Thrasher's Wheat Radio and now suddenly video hour. My name is Tony, founder of WBKM Radio up here in Burlington, Vermont. For those of you who don't know or never knew or don't remember. And uh, well, this is a brand new era of Thrasher's Wheat Radio. And it is a distinct pleasure to throw the microphone over to the guy on the other side of the split screen, Thrasher himself. Welcome, Thrasher, and welcome to this brand new era. Well, thanks, Tony. It's uh, really good to hear you, see you. Um, it's it's been a it's been a while. It's been a while um, since uh, we did this, and looking forward to taking this to the next level, uh, TWR 2.0, as we've been discussing. Um, so, so yeah, uh, you know, there's a lot of history here for some of our uh, longtime Thrasher's Wheat radio and WBKM followers that we've gathered over the past uh, almost a decade. Uh, I think we hooked up in sometime in 2012, 2013 or something like that, got mm -hmm. this thing going. So we're <laughs> heading towards our 10th anniversary here, but it's it's good uh, i'm looking forward to this a lot of great songs a lot of great memories we had uh an awful lot of fun the first time and uh maybe the most fun was when uh, you or i individually or together uh we get to meet face to face with with people that were actually listening to the show whether they listened live as we did it then or they uh, uh listened to it on uh, thrash's wheat uh, website uh, through that podcasty thing um what a joy to be in many cities and even cities uh, across the big, big ocean. And uh, people would share their experiences of enjoying the show. So we are grateful for that. And I hope we can uh, somehow do it again. All new, all different. But still, it's all one song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tony. Um, yeah, there's a lot of memories. And, and, I, and that's one of the reasons why we're trying to do this again is, uh, you know, relive some of the highlights of the past and, and look forward. Um, you know, it was Alchemy. That was the, the tour that we were on and Alchemy yeah. was all about the past, the present and the future. And, and probably nothing really sums up Neil Young and Crazy Horse and all of his bands than that, that sort of that inner dimensionality, uh, that sort of that three dimensions of, of past, present and future and, and the blend. So I, I hope we can we can make it all happen again and something and something new and, and different going forward. Going forward, and uh, you know we're grateful to uh, uh, to you know we've sadly lost uh, many people uh, in in music in the last ten years, and we're grateful that uh, the ones that we still have with us are still with us, and some of them are going real strong. Uh, Willie just turned eighty eight this last week. And uh, Neil is uh, with us at a very rockin' 75. And it's a beautiful thing. It's a real, um, it's a joy as you look back and then you look to today and recognize that, well, what a gift that we still have these, uh, these great men and women of music still with us. So we'll try our, our best to honor them as we always have. Yeah, Tony, I'm glad you mentioned that because I think that's what... Uh... WB Cam has been all about, you know, this honoring the music and, mm -hmm. and 
it has a lot to do with the past and the history and, and hoping to, you know, hopefully you know, bring some of this history, you know, to, we'll say, quote unquote, younger listeners out there um, and uh, make this uh, sort of an educational sort of thing and an enjoyable kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. So Thresher, uh, so you and I have had a, a bit of history talking about how this thing is going to look and uh, it will, it right now is looking like this split screen. Uh, I'm, I'm wandering the island trying to find Pancho and we'll see how that works. And, uh, but what's going to happen here, folks, is uh, uh, at the relevant time, due to the magic of uh, Zoom and Zooming, uh, Thresh is going to hit on some screen sharing software uh, on his side of the screen there. And uh, we're going to explore um, this incredibly deep and wide river that uh, Neil calls uh, the Neil Young Archives. Uh, Thrasher, tell our, tell our folks a little bit about uh, what we're attempting to do with the uh, incorporation of the archives, would you? Yeah, sure, uh, Tony, absolutely. Um, yeah, as you said, um, we're, we're trying to produce something new and different, certainly for us. Um, but as, as you mentioned, you know, Neil has been incredibly prolific throughout his career and if he could ever get even more prolific um, he has done this with the archives and really that is the basis of, of how we would like to move forward with this uh, 2.0 version is to to let folks you know explore and understand uh, what this archives is all about so um, hopefully you can uh, see the see the screen uh, there Tony and all of our listeners watchers out there with the archives and the the yeah. famous filing cabinet uh, is that looking all right there it is Tony? looking gorgeous i mean what a all magical right. thing when you told yeah. me we could do this i really was I, I didn't really think we could do this i had no idea how we were going to do this quite frankly but but there's a lot of people out there that figured it out and so uh it seemed possible and here it is folks. yeah um so um you know, we, we'll kind of assume that, that many of you guys out there are, are dialed into all this and have been playing around with it. Um, but we're also trying to, you know, get some of the folks that may not uh, have, you know, dug in so deep into all this or are following all of the uh, developments, which are literally daily, uh, daily oh, drops of, oh, of yeah. unheard, unseen um material from from the neil young archives and uh as he says right there on his uh his um, cabinet there this is cutting edge filing cabinet technology and and if you've been following neil for a long time you know you you sort of uh know there's there's a lot of humor in that that sort of you know that old-fashioned tony what do you, do you recall what they called those things that that made that that sort of uh i remember having these little puncher things that would do you do a letter at a time and and you have these little, little <laughs> labels and and be able to stick them to stuff oh yeah you, everybody used to own one of those it was like a 3m thing like uh yeah. you, you know you put different think, colors of tape in there and yeah i think they just called it label maker didn't they yeah, well, yeah and you would like dial that. it up and you would click and dial it again and click so all those letters took a while if uh, Neil yep. did it the way he used to. <laughs> and I have a feeling he probably did. So yep. it's very retro and very new at the same time, which is wonderful. Retro and new at the same time. And I think that's that's could be our our, our, our motto here for, for TWR 2.0, the old and the new. Yeah. Well, uh, with that, you know, I think, uh, you know, we're going to do something right now. If you're looking at the screen here, we're going to open up the filing cabinet. And so there we go. And there's the filing cabinet and wow. you know i'm just sort of like you know kind of going through it over here on the right with the scroll bar and on the left you see the 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 um years you know roll on by okay and i think for for a lot of folks who are you know tech savvy or even not so tech savvy it's like okay so what's you know like you know so what <laughs> well you know, if you just go and pick one of the folders in here and you open it up and you start looking around, mm -hmm. um, you'll, you can really explore the music in that. And that's, you know, really what we want to do here. And I'll just take another sort of moment to just say, as simple as this seems, this filing cabinet technology and these folders, mm -hmm. this is literally the results of 
decades of, I'll say, trial and error to make this thing work. And you mm -hmm. see how actually fast this thing is. You Amazing. know, this is the we are on the web, and the fact that that all of these things can be done, um, you know, is is truly remarkable. Uh, they, they really have have done something very remarkable, and and it it's even has the sound of, of the filing cabinet. If, if you are able to kind of kind of hear that, a lot of imagination, a lot of work, and. Uh, you know, and I, and you talk about being sort of like a 10 year long project, if you think of it like that. And, uh, you know, a lot of the technology that allows this to so easily happen or look like it's so easily happening. Uh, well, we didn't have it 10 years ago or eight, or maybe even some of this wasn't even around five years ago. It would have been an idea, but how, how do you do that? Neil? what do you want us to do? What? <laughs> Here it is. It's 2021. And it looks like 2021 or 1981 or some combination thereof huh? yep designed pre-internet um and, mm. and you know i think we can talk about a lot of the, the history of here as we go forward with, sure. our, with our programs here tony um but but why don't we we try and just get right into what's going on right now today as as we're we're looking at all of this here in early to. may well, one of the things that grabs me, uh, and it's on my uh, Father's Day wish list, uh, is uh, Deja Vu. You know, a lot of great albums in 50 years. A lot of great albums have come our way. And uh, we're on the edge of, uh, of this one here. With It's just chock full of good stuff. If you like that album, wow. Yeah, yeah. Um Definitely deja vu, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and, and Young. Um, you know, it, it is almost a thing of beauty and serendipitous here that um, as we're starting off with this, that, you know, it's the 50th anniversary. And, and you know, for, for a lot of folks probably aren't, haven't even maybe been around for 50 years. But yeah. but I think we remember, you know, from our youth, uh, you know, how how seminal and how significant these things are. And, and of course, just the title itself of we have all been here before, you know, the deja vu phenomenon that we, you know, certainly over the past year have where every day has been, you know, sort of like the day before and, and everything that we've been through over the past, you know, whatever, 16, 14 months, what have it yeah. about, you know, the, our little the 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 virus that will not speak its name um but we won't go there because that's not what we're all about so maybe we'll just, just kind of talk a little bit about this uh deja vu tony maybe uh dip in a little bit yeah we got to jump somewhere and it's a very big pool here so uh I'm, I'm happy to do it so you've clicked on that and we've got the we've got the, the file cabinet card and it's telling us uh there's the there's your playlist there's well there is the playlist as it originally uh, would have been found uh, when you opened it up and uh, pulled out that beautiful heavy vinyl on Atlantic Records SD7200 for those of you who love those things and we kind of do but then we got a lot of great things as you scroll down there you find out they're not just reissuing the same vinyl that we bought in whatever year you bought it we got a lot of good stuff here yeah, Tony. Um, absolutely. This this uh, 50th anniversary, uh, as you mentioned, contains not only the, the original uh, 10 tracks that were on that album, but also contains third, over 35 unreleased tracks. And right now on NYA, um, as we approach the release date of this, um, that uh, they're putting up the, these various demos, uh, unreleased tracks. Um, Birds and Ivory Tower and Our House have been been up there for a while, but but the title track um, just got previewed. This was a demo. Um, it, it doesn't have all of the details up here of say Birds, where you know you got your file oh, cabinet, where it's got the demo, and you got yeah. a, um, a video that goes with that. And you know we can you know uh, just sort of just for the for the audience just kind of dip into this for just a second here just yeah let's just give again. a little idea yeah so this is the deja vu demo just to play a little bit of this the famous shaky logo for everything <laughs> gotta love it 
It's August 1969 once again. tuning there as you can see uh graham nash will be on here in just a sec Well, Tony, you know, it's not really over. It's not over. And it wasn't over then, and it's still not over. Um, what a great uh, piece of work. You know, um, it, it is not detracting from the beauty of the song to see those gorgeous pictures of those of those young men, you know. And the, those pictures of, of Graham really... Uh, uh, you know, one of the one of the one of the most beautiful faces I, I've always thought in rock and roll, uh, and that gentle, persuasive, British toned question of, don't you think maybe you you, you should tune this, Neil? <laughs> I love yeah, that yeah. right off. That was that 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 cracked me up. <laughs> yeah, no, it's 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 good, you know, to kind of kind of see and hear these guys and and as. Uh, you know, as we mentioned, you know, this is a demo uh, that was not, you know, this is not the way it was released. Uh, Ram oh. vocals were um, whatever uh, scrubbed out or, or, or mixed down. I can't quite recall. I guess we that's be another subject for another day. But, you know, the and the videos, as you see, very atmospheric and with the lyrics and, and the photos and so on. Um, but anyway, we're looking at the, uh, the folder here and, and one thing that, you know, folks often miss are these little, little post-it notes, yeah, you know, because again, that? you know, Neil thought about all this stuff very physically, but you know, you can look in there and you get the story, you know, Graham and I recorded birds. It was after big CSNY, one of our very first shows, Graham and I sang, I've loved her so long that night. It was a great version. We had a blend. When we arrived at San Francisco the next day, Graham and I decided to sing birds in the studio. We were just beginning to record. Then we made Deja Vu. Our version of Birds is now part of the 50th anniversary set. Yeah. So well, you can see um, this is a um, you know this is a new note here. I love that. I, I love that. Uh, you know that 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 was kept. Um, there are some things that sadly were scrubbed uh, during this uh, often tumultuous history between these uh, four incredible men and. Uh, I'm, I'm just so, uh, I'm, I'm personally honored, which may sound weird, but I feel personally honored that Neil uh, or whoever kept it all these years and that Neil is giving it uh, the due uh, with his uh, great uh, one-time dear friend, Graham Nash. And, uh, yeah, wow. absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and as we go through this thing about the, the Graham, now I'm, I'm thinking like, well, is that correct? So one, one of the things that we can do here um, about, um, what, um, you know, some, we can, we can actually check ourselves here. Uh -huh. Um, and you'll actually see, I guess, you know, birds was, was not, you know, released on the, uh, the deja vu, no. but, you know, I just out of curiosity and, um, you know, this is also something that, that folks are always sort of stumped by. Well, how do I find anything on here? Well, it does have a search button 
and everybody like, oh, well, how do you search on, on Neil Young archives? Well, Good question. as Neil would do, he, up in the upper right-hand corner, if you're looking here, there's this keyhole. And so the keyhole is the search box. And you get nice. now you get the search box. Now everybody can figure it out. And you type in birds here. And you see all the different versions of birds. But uh, let's see. Birds, I guess, was maybe ben, uh, originally back here on after the gold rush. Yeah. So when you look at that, and you see that on after the gold rush when this is originally released as opposed to the deja vu sessions which, you know this is around 6 30 70 and we just we're looking at uh, the other dates of the uh, ram nash version but you see as it was originally released on after the gold rush the vocals were neil young uh, ralph molina and danny witten so the original release did not have Graham Nash. So, so yeah, you know, we, we check ourselves, right, Tony? Yeah. <laughs> and I, I think that's, uh, that's beautiful. You know, we, we get to compare and we get to see stuff like this. Uh, I was thinking when we were watching that video, there were, uh, you know, the lyrics were, were appearing there and this is a, here's a lyric sheet, a manuscript. Um, and if folks don't recognize what those squiggly letters are, that's called script. <laughs> they used to teach you how to write like that as opposed actually. to printing. printing as opposed to printing which is i've been doing for forever because my script was never yeah. very good but back a long time ago folks they used to teach you how to write like this and isn't it fascinating that neil has just always had that yellow pad thing um yeah you know and, and tony you know i think this is you know again another one of these um artifacts from the archives that it is fascinating for, for folks who are really deep into this because the video that we just watched, which had the lyrics overlaid, you know, they, you know, if you can just imagine going back to a document like this and pulling mm -hmm. out the original handwritten notes yeah. to then superimpose, I mean, any, any kind of video producer today would say that is way too much trouble and would just you know block letters you know up on the screen yeah and uh not really going and then you know maybe just before we leave here you look at this uh this lyric sheet who yeah. is it courtesy I'm, of i'm glad you somehow that graham, graham nash uh you know ended up with these things yeah i think graham was a, was a careful archivist uh for for many of these things and uh thank goodness somebody was uh and who better so thank you, Mr. Nash, as well. My goodness. Yeah. I love that little tour there. Yeah. So, um, you know, we, before we maybe leave the Deja Vu, um, we'll mm -hmm. just, you know, hit on the, the title track, uh, yeah. the demo of the title track. Uh, so, you know, a little bit of a buzz there on that. You know, it's such a classic tune. So, so maybe we'll just, like, dip, dip into this for just a moment here. Uh, what love do you think, to. Tony? I think it's a fantastic uh, idea. So, uh, just play a little bit here. Okay. Well, um, there was a little, sound like there's like a slight glitch there. I don't know whether that was uh, my end with my connection or the, or the site and the stream, but um, I'm sure when you, we get this uh, 50th box, uh, I'm sure it'll be a nice clean, but oh, yeah. you know, my, what struck me is, is uh, you know, the tempo there, very, you know, very slow sort of buildup from, you know, maybe what we're used to as the, uh, you know, the title track there. Uh, beautiful piece of uh, guitar work 
I don't absolutely know, but I'm guessing that that's uh, David Crosby playing those harmonics. It sounds like a Crosby-esque kind of a thing as opposed to the way Neil plays or the way Stephen plays. But, um, and certainly could have been Stephen Stills, but uh, wow, uh, just gorgeous. I mean, I could just listen to that without hearing any words for a long time. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, and yeah, definitely. And I guess uh, maybe before we leave the deja vu, you see that this uh, demo was four minutes and 25 seconds and yeah. the original uh, release was four minutes and 12. So I, I know I was saying it was a little slow on the the, um, the opening, you know, sort mm -hmm. of a little bit more leisurely, but uh, but it'll be, you know, uh, again, you know, interesting to compare these things, uh, you know, back to back uh, yeah, as we definitely. move down the road. I'm excited to, uh, if we get it now, if we get it before the release or when, when we get the, uh, when we get the, uh, the vinyl in our hands, um, uh, any pre versions, uh, or demo versions of Woodstock, um, which I've always considered one of the, the great rock and roll songs of all time. Incredible piece of work and then recreated by Steven and Neil, um, I, I'm excited about that one. Boy, look at that, man. I'm, I'm cutting off myself. But, uh, you know, I've got three copies of uh, Deja Vu in my in my vinyl collection, uh, partly because I couldn't remember when I was at the, at the store whether I actually had gotten one two other times, <laughs> and partly uh, to get a constantly better version. And that cover, I can literally feel the bumps on that cover, which was made to look like uh, leather um in that green look which later became brown leather for some reason and uh, yeah tony uh you know we, we could probably spend an entire show <laughs> on, on this album and almost an entire show on the album cover itself all of these <laughs> elements have you know huge Amazing. backstories really the do. photo itself in terms of of what uh, Gary Burden and Henry Diltz and, and those guys who were working with those guys, there's a story about this photo. And as you said, there's a story about this leather and um, leather uh, album cover. It's a gatefold. It opens up. Uh, I yeah. don't think we've got that here on the site just yet, but uh, I'm sure that will be coming mm. to be able to, to zoom in. But, um, that. you know, being able to really like you said almost you can almost feel the texture here <laughs> um but you know like i said we could probably spend a, a whole show talking about this but i think <laughs> you know probably one of the more famous footnotes of, of this album cover okay. was that um i believe that the story was something like you know it's atlantic records that they they brought the the concept of what they were going to do with the the leather like cover mm -hmm. the um the photo, and if you actually have the physical uh, original copy, they the each one of these covers they they pasted on <laughs> this photo. In other words, it's not a printing; it's an actual photo that is laminated to the cover. And when they proposed this to our friend Amit and some of the other Atlantic X executives of saying, you know, it was going to cost like a dollar <laughs> 50 per album cover. <laughs> they were outraged because these things are usually like five cents. Yep. Yep. It's a beautiful thing. And yet here we have it. The, the art, you know, which is one of the great things about that great label and about uh, the one and only greatest record man of all time, Ahmed Erdogan that the art so often succeeded over the business. It made no sense to spend a dollar or more on every cover when you were selling. I don't remember anymore, but you weren't, you weren't selling this thing for 10 bucks a shot. I mean, you were selling it for what? Retail? Six, seven? I don't even remember. But it's a big yeah. portion, right? Or whatever. Yeah. It's a big piece of the pie. And yet, 50 years later, not just we, but there's a lot of other people still talking about, I oh, remember the way that cover feels. I can close my eyes right now and I can still feel it. There's not a lot of artwork in, in music that is that good that 50 years later, you're still talking about it. So uh, hats off. Amit. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, they, 
the the re-releases they did not uh, go and, um, and and retain that uh, that uh, feature. Right. Um, just uh, trying to get my act together here. Um, See, they did not. <laughs> this is yeah, real I, focus I was, I, happening. Right yeah, I was gonna, gonna I was gonna show some of the um, the uh, the box set. Uh, business uh, right. I, think, I think we got a little bit of that here anyway oh, yeah good. here okay yeah so we're, we're looking now at thresh suite for just a sec i thought it'd be kind of good to but here's like the, uh, an unreleased photo of the album shoot you know that we just looked at you know uh, you know steven the dog i don't believe the dog actually made the cover but then again you know we can always just go right back and and check that here's another uh photo from the session but here's kind of what i want to show the uh the yes, actual uh the pooch 50th right anniversary yeah, Steve okay. is still petting the dog right there. Beautiful. Okay. Yep. All right. <laughs> Love it. So, um, yeah, the, the box set's coming out. Um, I believe it's May, May next week, May 15th, something like that. Okay. Um, I got it. Uh, do, 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 do. Well, um, what, do you know? what do you know? Well, it's somewhere. Anyway. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's very somewhere. soon. It's imminent. All right. It's imminent. And there's the famous tree. The famous tree still exists there oh, in, wow. in Southern California that they took wow. the, the, the photo under. The tree's a little bit bigger. But, wow. you know, we can check out the, the composite here of, of how the actual album and the tree go and look, you know, and like a lot of folks like to go and take the album and hold it to the scene. That's kind of a thing. You can do that with like after the gold rush. But nice. again, another subject for another day. Um, so, Tony, um, why don't we just cruise back here to the home cabinet here and uh, see where we want to go next here. Um, Tony um, can talk about some of these other features here. Um, what about that NYA Daily 30? What's, uh, what's that about, man? Sure. Uh, so the NYA Daily 30, uh, let's see here. So they ah. put together a playlist every day. It's a fairly, I'll say, randomized uh, selection of songs. Uh, not sure if there's a rhyme or reason for how these things uh, get pulled together. At least I don't believe anybody's found a pattern. Um, but I'll, I'll say that the Daily 30 does essentially go across the entire archives uh, mm. where you'll hear very early stuff from the buffalo springfield all the way up to the latest album so what i think they're just trying to do is just you know randomly kind of pick tracks across the entire spectrum mm -hmm. so they really do make um you know nice uh playlists for you know out running around doing your errands or whatever you might be doing as background or or foreground mm -hmm. but you know you'll see you know a lot of things that are I think also maybe there's a little bit of a mix of, of very um, uh, well-known songs, Man Needs a Maid, Old Man, but also songs that probably are more obscure to, to folks, you know, Milky Way or, uh, you know. Uh, Campaigner is a little uh, less uh, known, perhaps. Maybe American Dream there, you know, like the, that's, you know, CSNY. So you, you get the whole variety there. Yeah. Anything you're particularly curious about in terms of like, oh, what's that? song would sound like <laughs> well one thing i'm curious about is that uh so if you go straight across from the from any of those titles you see mm -hmm. a file uh, a picture of a file uh whatever you know a file folder and then there's the letter t what's the t is it t stand for thrasher i don't think so probably <laughs> that'd be nice um the t the and t, you don't click uh, on i it. believe well, you the, can the, click the, on the t the t takes you to the uh, timeline time t is for time. but see you know that's a beautiful thing there tony in terms of you know like with a lot of things well the answer to your question is right there it's right there that's right there. It's right there. But, you know, I'm, I'm glad you, 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 uh, yeah. you know, prompted that because, yeah. yeah, you know, if you were looking at Milky Way and you were thinking like, what, where, you know, where does that fit in the overall scheme of things? And you see, you know, that's Colorado. That's very recent, you know, 2019. Right. And then of course, um, while we're here on the timeline, you know, you see, okay, that's April, 2019. And then, what's the big picture here? So down here in the lower right, you've got the zoom out 
and you can see, you know, Colorado is in here, 2019, you know, somewhere in between, you know, um, the visitor promise of the real from, you know, like 2018 back here mm -hmm. and prior to, you know, the 2020 homegrown and the times releases. So again, you know, very, mm -hmm. you know, and again, just how the navigation on this thing is, is really amazing in terms of, you know, here we are in 2019 down here at the lower or yeah, the bottom center, but you know, we can just jump way back here to say, you know, 2000 and, Boom! There you are, mm -hmm. two thousand. Just, just have a good old time. Beautiful. What I like also is that um, there are some sites, just by their nature, by the complex nature of doing things like this, that you get backed into a corner, and you know you've mopped yourself into the corner, or you painted your, the floor, and you're stuck, and you can't go anywhere forward. You have to just keep going backwards until you get to some junction that allows you to then go in another direction. But everything that I've played with on the archives and seen and what we're seeing here today is that we never get stuck in a hole where, you know, you were on this very minuscule thing when we press the click the letter T for timeline, yet you were able to come to this page, to the other one. We're never stuck like, oh, now we got to go backwards 14 pages to get to the place where we first began. We can always go home. You can always go home. Yeah, yeah, and there is a there is a home button here. You're you're right. It it has a um, you know Omni yeah. 360 uh, navigation from any point. You don't yeah. get stuck, and you can come back. And then of course the the beauty of the music plays as you as you explore around. Mm -hmm. So maybe we are just kind of heading back uh back home um back home back no. home. Back um, home. you know I think. Tony, uh, one of the things that, that folks are always trying to, you know, keep up with here is, you know, what's new. So if you go to the Times Contrarian, uh, you know, Neil's daily newspaper, you know, it's huge. It has lots of sections, as folks know. Um, and, you know, the headline news uh, and then the different sections, um, you know, letters to the editor has become a very... Uh, you know, interesting sort of feature where Neil's personally responding. I'm sure we can look at some of those things yeah. and on across the different sections. You know, again, we can spend, look into these different sections, but there is this new this week section here yeah. um, mm -hmm. that, that shows some of the things that are uploaded recently. But I, I guess, you know, while we're here on the front page, you know, they, uh, you see the top story, Al Schmidt, uh, 1930 to 2021. Uh, yeah. Not a name that probably most Neil Young fans are, are very familiar with, uh, I would say. I mean, even myself kind of scratched my, even, you know, the, the mighty thrasher, you know, scratches his head. Um, yeah, so he, he was a producer on, on some of um, the albums with uh, Nico Bolas mm -hmm. and... Uh, talks about you know some of his his songs there but but you know neil is always i think as we said tony you know honoring the music and 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 yeah. honoring the music means honoring the people behind the music like an al schmidt uh, a name many you're not familiar with right right and and that's it would be a shame for for that legacy to only be held in the hands of people like neil who personally knew al or worked with al people should know what was behind uh, some of this great music because it took a guy like Al Schmidt uh, to help lay it down. And uh, so uh, again, uh, we'll miss you, Al. Uh, and we'll remember you when, uh, when we play this uh, great music of yours, uh, voluminous uh, discography. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you know, Tony, um, you know, it's really you know, been great kind of catching up on all this. Maybe before we, been. you know, sort of, um, exit out of this and, and sort of move to wrapping up here maybe we can find another little tune that might be appropriate for us or or, or look at something else and then you know, maybe moving into yeah. closing out the show or anything uh we got all got our you know songs over here uh this is you know you mentioned the the daily playlist but there's also the top 40 which mm -hmm. shows you know the songs that are being most requested by uh nya subscribers uh, ah. there's also you know of course our album of the week and you know you can click on that and you can see the album of the week yeah. is the noise and the noise. you know then you know we got songs of the week uh you know 
which is different than the daily playlist, you know? I mean, so there's a lot of music out here, Tony. Any, anything? Uh, there's a lot sort of, of uh, music, yeah. I mean, a lot of great music. Wow. How about that? It's it's <laughs> almost, you know, well, then then, then it's, hey, hey, what, what do you want to hear? And you get in the, well, I, I, I don't know. Where do I go? It's like I'm a kid at Christmas here, you know? But um, what am I feeling? You know, and, and you just jump to this spot. So I don't want to screw that up, you know, but, uh, but, you know, I'm thinking about uh, that other anniversary coming up of our incredible uh, trip uh, through Europe uh, or during the alchemy tour, I would love to hear some horse, a little bit of horse and Neil and a little, horse. A little something okay. from that uh, wonderful commemorative time coming on up. Okay. Um, and I promise next see. time, I, next time I'll wear my, uh, I'll wear my Three Ashes Wheat Radio Goes to Europe t-shirt. <laughs> but it's a little chilly here today, so I got the flannel on as you got the flannel. Out of respect. Right. Come now. All right. Come now. Well, um, let's see here. Uh, we could search. We, we could. I'm just kind of seeing what, what sort of pops up here uh, mm -hmm. on, the, on the screen here that might... Uh, you know, we do have another anniversary also coming up, uh, uh, you know, so Ohio uh, next week. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe not, let's not go down that, that, that one well, right, right here, right now. It's got a heavy, heavy subject. It, it's heavy and it's a big story with it. So maybe we should save that for the next time and there will be a next time. So, um, um, yeah, I'm hmm. just sort of scrolling through, I'm looking through, looking for some, some horse here in the top 10 albums. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, this, this is Bill Box, you know, the, the Neil's little little thing. Uh, <laughs> um, what did he call this thing? This is Cashboard, you know, it's not Billboard, it's Cashboard. That's right. You know, a little, little spoof on things. It's not uh, Cash Box. So, let's see, you got the box and the board, uh, sync, you know, flipped over. I like that. That's good. I like that. That's very clever. Clever there. Um, but, you know, you can't go wrong with a little bit of Neil here, you know. So, yeah. uh, why don't we, um, you know, I know you mentioned about the, the horse there, but we yeah, got this album of the week right here. Maybe we could just let's dip that. into. Uh, oh, that's a great dip great into uh, something here that's kind of uh, maybe I'm feeling a little peaceful Valley Boulevard. What do you think? I'm thinking that sounds like a great idea. All right, so we'll just dip into this. Just you know, this is you know, live live radio. You know, Tony, right? I love it. It's live radio and video. We're not afraid. All right. All right, Peaceful Valley Boulevard. You know, we'll, we'll just see see how this all plays out here. Great work of uh, Neil and Daniel and Wong. Yep. Shots rang out in the peaceful valley God was crying tears that fell like rain Before the railroad came from Kansas City And the bullets hit the bison from the train First shots rang across the peaceful valley And the white man laid his foot upon the plain Heavy okay. lyrics. Heavy, heavy yeah, lyrics. Yeah, yeah. Heavy amazing, lyrics amazing. here. And uh, remember the uh, comment uh, when this was uh, coming out back in uh, 2010. Uh, I said solo. They said acoustic. It wasn't an acoustic. Yeah. It wasn't an acoustic. It was a solo electric album. Uh, and we got to hear a little bit of that at uh, Farm Aid that year in 2010. And that was at that great big, big, big place. Uh, wasn't that? Was that Brewer Stadium? Um, Chicago or no, Milwaukee? or Yeah, Milwaukee. I'm thinking, or was it? it um, no, I think... Uh, it was a big, it was, can't, really I was not, I did, I would, did not go to the farm aid that year. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, but, I, but I think I 
I, was it? It was a baseball stadium, right? It's a baseball. So it was inside. Yeah, I think it was Milwaukee Brewers uh, Stadium. And uh, Nora Jones came out and sang with Willie. And uh, Neil played uh, at least one, if not more, one more than one song from uh, the then album of the day. Uh, what a beautiful thing. Gorgeous, man. Well, this is not supposed to be a three-hour show. We, uh, we're we rolling it out here and trying to keep it uh, tight and to see if we can't, uh, can't keep fucking up. And... Uh, <laughs> And uh, so there's a lyric for everything. And the way is, there's a Neil lyric for just about every situation you might find yourself in. And uh, Thrasher, as you see, has exited from that screen sharing. And uh, here we are. Now, I think people are going to want to know, when are we going to get to see your pretty, pretty face on this thing? But we'll leave that up to Thrasher. So, you know. Yeah, well, we got, we got, got all sorts of things we're working through here, Tony, with our audio and our video. Uh, Mm -hmm. we've talked about a lot of things that we can do with this format but i think um i think right now um i'll i will just say that one of the things that that i'm most looking forward to with uh, trying to get this uh twr 2.0 going here is that you know as much as uh, folks you know may love to see and hear us um there's a lot of great people out there, you know, the Rusties. Yeah. And, I, and I, I, I really am very interested in bringing in, you know, some of the, uh, you know, illustrious Rusties into this to, to hear their stories. And um, absolutely. You know, oh, yeah. I mean, I think, you know, we, we, we got a lot of things we can cover. There's been a lot of miles, a lot of concerts, a lot of stories out there. A lot of people have, and I have to say that that that, that is really my, my passion out of all of this is is the live concert experience, right. and some of the best times of my life besides like being on the rail, it's what happens before the show, getting together the pre show, and then after the show out in the parking lot or wherever, and and hanging out and and uh, reliving it, you know. Absolutely. So, uh, a lot live of wonderful music is what did they say about live music well they say a lot of good things about it it's great <laughs> well, i'm not sure which one you mean but it is uh, an exceptional about the bumper experience. stickers about well the you know it's an exceptional experience and uh i always love that moment where i turn around and i watch what's happening in people's faces and and uh, uh, symbolic of what's happening in their heart when they're hearing a song that touches them or moves them or makes them want to dance. And all of a sudden, be it a, a 200 people in, the, in, a, in a small club or, or 20,000 in a big uh, venue, um, we're all one. We're all connected. And for that moment, um, there's no fear. There's no hate. There's no war. There's no black. There's no white. There's no anything that separates us. We are truly... Um, together for that magnificent little bit of time with people we may never see again. That's to me, that's what I love about live music. Yeah, Tony, I don't think I could have said any better. And it seems oh, like a good, good, good place to, to wrap it up until next time. Until next time. And uh, keep watching, you know, keep, uh, get your TV guide out and uh, we should be in there pretty soon. I think we'll, we'll let you know. We won't, we won't let it slip by. You'll, you'll find out. Thrasher's Week 2.0. Thank you, Thrasher. Thank you, Tony. Keep on rocking in the free world. You know it. All righty, sir. <laughs>